the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always so today is chapter 68 in the entire Python and chapter 27 in NumPy <clears throat> so we have actually traveled 68 days and uh, today also it is a distribution family I think the next two or three will also be distribution families so far in the distributions we have seen somewhere close to eight distributions just for a quick recap normal uh, binomial poison uniform logistic multinomial uh, chi square uh, and I I don't remember another one so in this family we also have another one called Rayleigh so we also saw the importance of each and every one you know what is a normal the gauss the poison you know that is poison is to predict what is going to happen the uniform is a uniform distribution so we saw a bunch of things and we also saw certain things are three parameters and certain things are two parameters so what is this Rayleigh how it is actually coming in and how many parameters does it have so the Rayleigh distribution one good thing is it is used in signal processing so you may think like hey it's used in signal processing so what is it used for me right here right now it's always good to know a distribution right who knows if you're an artificial intelligence or if you're going to do in cyber some, some kind of a cyber security where you have to do some kind of a signal processing and if you have to actually find something who knows you may you, you may even use this okay that is a beauty of learning a topic so this Rayleigh has two parameters one is a scale and a size the scale is a standard deviation it decides how flat the distribution will be defaulted to one the size is the size of the return array which we all saw now let's take a a code let's actually run this so let's actually take this code as I told you you can even by heart this so from this numpy we import a random which means a random this thing and everything is a random dot normal random dot uniform random dot poison and everything is a random right so in this we say a scale of two and the array is in the size of two comma three because this is a size so the array is the size of two comma three and we actually print it so as i said two and comma two comma three so this is what it actually gives us fine now the next thing we want to do is visualize the Rayleigh distribution so when you visualize the Rayleigh distribution because we have been visualizing a lot now let's actually take this as I always say this is by default the first three lines from numpy import random because everything is random dot this thing import matplotlib dot pyplot as plot the C bond because the C bond is where like you know we actually see things so the SNS dot distribution plot or the C bond dot distribution plot we say random dot Rayleigh which is in the signal distribution we give a size of this and we don't say we don't we say like we don't need a histogram and we say a plot of show it has to show us something so this is for use for the signal processing as I told you before so see here more or less like a Gauss curve not exactly a Gauss curve maybe like a chi, chi square so what is the similarity between a Rayleigh and a chi square distribution a unit standard deviation and a two degrees of freedom Rayleigh and chi square represent the same distributions or the unit standard distribution and the two degrees like degree one degree two it all represents the same distribution I trust you have actually enjoyed this lecture if you have any questions kindly contact me I'll actually try to help you to the best of my abilities. Like always, I'd like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time. And the other is my wife, Jayashi, following me to follow my passion. Till we see you next time. Thank you. Take care and cheers.